So, as you might know, desktops, GPUs, everything, they're getting bigger, they're getting bulkier, they're, they're getting more power hungry. You have to have a computer tower, full-size monitor, everything. You might be saying, okay, that's true. Why are you outside? Well, what if I told you inside of just this bag, this laptop bag, there was an entire gaming setup that doesn't need batteries that I'm going to run and play out here, outside. I've got my table here. And I'm going to show you what I've got in my bag for an entire gaming setup. I think this is going to be pretty cool. And it'll go sh oh, to show that you don't need a full desktop tower, monitor, everything, just to play your favorite games. If you're someone who goes camping a lot or travels a lot, you've got plenty of options. So without further ado, let's get into it. Of course, first off, we need a machine to actually power this setup. And considering there's no power points out here, unsurprisingly to anyone, it's going to be a laptop. With me, I've got this Dell laptop. This is one of their G15s, the 5520. This is a very good machine, Dell G15. It's running a GeForce RTX 3050, mobile edition of course, but a 3050, a 12th Gen i5 with four performance cores and eight efficiency cores. It is overall a very nice laptop, a very powerful laptop, has a pretty good battery life, has plenty of options for ports, two USBs, an aux port and an ethernet, HDMI, USB-C and another USB, and of course the charger. This one does not charge off of USB-C, that's the only thing. I had planned to have an additional USB-C power bank in this setup. Sadly, the laptop I had on hand just didn't charge with USB-C and I ain't making money off these videos yet, so I can't go buy a whole new laptop that does. But if you're building a setup like this, full transparency, you shouldn't be building it for battery life. What I'm gonna show you is gonna be a very good gaming experience, but it's not gonna be a long one. The battery life on this setup is not gonna be amazing. If you're somewhere like a hotel where you can plug it into the wall, this is gonna be brilliant for you. But if you are actually outside like I am, this is not gonna last very long, unless you do have a laptop that charges with USB-C and a USB-C charger bank. But 32 gigs of RAM, it's not a bad, laptop and it'll be more than powerful enough to run this but of course this mostly you need good io from this can be substituted for a machine of any power basically as long as the io is good enough just something to keep in mind but let's get some of the basics out of the way while i do have a mouse for the setup this is a this is a deluxe setup this is a bougie setup still within the bag I also have a full-size desk pad. A mouse pad will more than suffice for a setup like this. You don't need a full desk pad like this, but that extra room's never gonna hurt. And well, if it fits in your bag, they fold down, they're pretty easy to carry. To the point that I have a, not a full-size desk pad, but a standard mouse pad in my standard day-to-day -day travel bag. And of course, the mouse. The mouse is something that most people already carry with them, so anything will do. This is just a Razer Basilisk X Hyperspeed. Anything will really do the trick. But I like this one because while it's not going to affect it a whole lot, any battery life we can preserve on this with things like wireless is always going to be good. And of course, and of course, you'd say, okay, we've got a keyboard and mouse now. But no, no, no. This is the ultimate setup. I'm not sticking with this little, this little mushy membrane laptop keyboard. It's pretty good, but we've got a pretty big bag. And so while fitting something like a full keyboard is always going to be a stretch, something small like a 60% is less so. Now, full transparency, this isn't a mechanical or anything like that. I wanted to get a mechanical, but again, I just don't have a 60% lying around on hand that's mechanical. So a bit of a proof of concept instead of actual proper keyboard, but you can get very small keyboards that are pretty easy to carry. That was just, again, in the bag. And you might say, oh, but you're losing so much functionality over the 104 keys on the other keyboard. 60% keyboards actually do have that functionality still. Like, this has got arrow keys as long as you're holding down function. And worst case scenario, if you do need a number pad, just reach up to it. And so a keyboard is something that we're gonna be bringing with us. Now, we're already starting to fill a few of our USB slots. And sadly, for a setup like this, something like this is mandatory, some sort of USB splitter or adapter. This one is one USB to four. I would re always recommend using a USB-C to USB one. They're generally a bit better, but truthfully, a lot of the USB in this setup is gonna be less running things and more just providing power. And so I'm pretty confident in my one to four adapter here, with the keyboard being one of the few exceptions, which is just gonna be going in the port in the back. And with that, our keyboard is connected. Now, this is already looking like a pretty good setup. Keyboard, mouse, a good screen. Because that's one thing about laptops. They've already got a pretty good monitor on them. This one's, this one's 15 inches. This one's 15.6 inches. 120, 120 hertz. Pretty good monitor screen. But sometimes you like to watch something like YouTube on the side. And so, sometimes the second screen is really nice. And what if I said, I've got a trick to get a really good, cheap second portable screen. It's not going to be the greatest quality, but it'll run completely off of this laptop. This, my friends, 
is the XP Artist 12. And this is a drawing tablet, but this is also a drawing tablet with a screen on it, which is why I have no intention of drawing out while I'm camping, but because of the nature of having a screen on it, it of course can run as a monitor. I wouldn't put games on it. Well, you probably could, I wouldn't. What you can do is like watch a second YouTube video or have something on the second screen or Discord like you would a normal second monitor. And this one specifically, the monitor has the USB-C connector. Oh, all the dogs have come to visit. HDMI and two USBs for power and data which can be driven by this laptop. As you can see there, clearly running. And with that, we've got two monitors, a nice keyboard, nice mouse, a pretty powerful gaming machine. What else could we possibly need? Well, again, the laptop's already got it. How about some good speakers? I'm still pulling from the bag. Everything is from the bag. ka -chow. Well, it's not the most amazing set of speakers. It's got some RGB and should get the trick done. Should be a bit better than some just little laptop speakers. And well, if it's gonna make for a more enjoyable experience and we've got it in the bag, there's no harm. Just gotta plug it in. And then this is again gonna go to our little USB hub at the back here. And then with that, just my luck. I have brought along speakers that don't work. The laptop speakers are pretty good and are there, but they admittedly would have been a bit better if the speakers I brought actually worked. But, well, we can. We can fit speakers into the bag. But there's a second audio option. What if you want to play some intense eSports and want to talk with your friends and be able to hear exactly what direction your shots are coming from? Then, of course, still pulling from the bag, you want something like a headset, don't you? But the nice thing about this headset being all it needs is an audio port to work and only the lights are driven off the USB. Yep, there it goes. And then, of course, we've got some nice headphones. Sound pretty nice. Means you can talk with people and and you can be on a Discord call in the middle of nowhere. I'm now taking a video on the laptop. I've got my camera and my microphone. Microphone's off, clearly. <sighs> Can't hear through it. This is from the head headset speaker. This is from the headset microphone, which I don't doubt is worse, but it's got a good webcam. Honestly could work like this. And imagine doing streams like this out in the scenery. I think that's really funny. There are little to no disadvantages or things that you lose with this setup either. And just so you know, the bag is down here. It's pretty empty now but everything that I've been grabbing, I've been pulling out of that. And in here, I've still got a bunch of basic utilities, like a phone charger, my laptop charger, of course, and a, and a bunch of really cool little things that are just quality of life. And so while being portable, clearly, you can still have a pretty good gaming experience. But let's actually give it a crack. And with that, we've got a, a game like God of War running, running quite well. It's a comfy setup, a nice keyboard, nice mouse. It's a comfy setup on the second monitor. I've just got God of War cloned for the time being. Honestly, it's definitely 60 hertz on the second monitor, and I can see that difference. But honestly, it's not too bad. Honestly, yeah, this is a not a bad option. Feels pretty good. And this is PC level games. Again, out in the middle of my like yard. Sounds incredible with the headphones. Good keyboard and mouse. Honestly, a very good option overall. Another game on the go. This one isn't necessarily performance heavy, but it's just everything runs so well. As much as this does have a nice keyboard. A mouse is always going to be infinitely better than a trackpad. And a proper keyboard is always going to be better than a mushy membrane laptop keyboard. And so I just wanted to kind of show that, well, you don't have to just stick with that. Now there is one pretty big downside to this, which is just in the time being out here recording, because it's running so many different devices and power through so many different devices, it's already under half battery, which I've been recording for a fair bit. I would estimate you get about an hour of game time if you were playing a game like God of War, maybe a bit more if you were playing a lighter game. But if you're if you're someone who travels a lot for work or something and you're always in hotel rooms where you do have a PowerPoint, I honestly 100% recommend bringing things like, not just like a mouse, but a keyboard, a headset with you. Because if battery's not a concern, there are little to no downsides to a setup like this, apart from the fact that you've got to carry a big bag which all things considered is not that big of a downside for this level of comfortability while playing games but if you're doing something like camping if you're wanting that deluxe experience you can but don't expect it to last a long time anyway this is a portable setup though i really hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you found it interesting or useful the fact of what you can do completely portably with no powerpoint no nothing and you still get two monitors a good keyboard and mouse a headset speakers and a powerful machine I really hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. Comment whatever your travel setup is, whether it's just a Nintendo Switch, whatever your model of laptop is, and what you bring with you. I'm curious. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm a small channel, it would help out a ton. If you want to see me do more challenges or setups like this one, please comment what you want to see me do down below as well. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.